Hey what's up my dokus, Jason here welcome you back to more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time, we wrapped up things on Outset Island with the final few th bits of side questing I guess you could say. We basically just, you know, did Orca's 500 time uh, sword challenge and then we got a pig to dig up a heart piece for us. We also came here to Headstone Isle, where we learned a new song, the Earth God's Lyric, and found out that we needed to find another sage, because the reason that the Master Sword lost its energy is because Ganon murdered the sage that was keeping the energy in the Master Sword here. You know, basically murdered them here. And we had to go find a new sage. In this case, we found Medley who carries this um, instrument uh, that is the same as the Zora stage. S and this time, well, we brought her here. We're going to be conquering, or at least starting on conquering, the Earth Temple. Starting off in this first room, we seem to have a bunch of moblins, some of which are reminiscent of the ones we saw in the Forsaken Fortress, because they have, uh, they have fire, uh, or lamps, I guess. But, you know, it's okay. We can grind off some uh, skull necklaces on them. Not that particularly we're going to need them, because I feel like we might just get the amount of, uh... We might just get the amount of skull necklaces, or not skull necklaces, but amount of rupees that we need to finish the rest of the game. But anyway, what we need to do here is we need to play the command melody as Medley has brought us over here to sit stand on the switch. And then we need to have Medley fly over here to this switch. Because if we if she does, well, then that unlocks the door for us. I'm going to go ahead and have Medley uh, fly down here and then just stand next to the door while I jump down here and take care of the two moblins that are down here because skull necklaces, while we don't need them technically, they're still beneficial to us for if we do need any r more extra rupees. But I personally don't think we do because we've basically taken, a, taken care of the, you know, heavy rupee, uh, like the really heavy rupee um, side quests where it requires a lot of money like the auction house and the uh, trading sequence anyway go ahead and move on here we have a new room where there seems to be a bunch of choo choos And we also have a new choo-choo. This one does not give us, just like uh, the electric chews, these do not give us a new type of uh, chew jelly. Um, but these, for lack of a better word, because, or I guess not lack of a better word, but to use a better word, as I do not wish to offend people, which in this today's society, sadly, you know, is a true statement. These are called Dark Chews. I'm going to hence call them Dark Chews because there is no other description to give them because I don't want to use the, you know, actual term that I could use to call them because I think that's what their official names are. And I don't want to, uh... I, I do not wish to offend anybody, so... What we need to do is just take them, uh, turn them to stone and just smash them with either by throwing them, like picking them up and throwing them, or you can just use your skull hammer and completely destroy them. Anyway, uh, I think what I'm going to do here is uh, not pull out my Deku Leaf, I want to pull out a bomb, and then we're just going to drop that down to give us a warp pot. And once that's said and done, let's go ahead and open this chest. And within is the dungeon map. And if I look at this, eh, it's not particularly a too... It's a pretty big dungeon, but it's also not too big of a dungeon. Um, I'm, there are some items like rupees, I think, and a magic meter behind that, but I'm not going to waste those because we already have full magic. 
But yeah, it's not too big of a dungeon. It just goes from the first ba first floor down to two basements, which is not it's not particularly bad. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and use our command med melody here again to have medley uh, use our harp to uh, kind of get rid of this fog around the switch. Because if we uh, if we don't, then that fog will actually uh, make it to where we can't use any of our items, and we need to use our hammer to slam down this switch. Alright, Medley, you've done your part there. Oops. Alright, let's go ahead and head inside. Alright, here we have some the return of some old foes. We have Bubbles, which, you know, we saw back in... I think the first time we actually saw them was back in the, uh... Back in the four... Or not the four second fortress, the, uh, Tower of the Gods. So, now what we need to do is head up this way. And we need to push, or pull this block. I keep forgetting that it's not ZR to push, it's A. And now, we, be, we will be able to activate this chest. It seems like the instrument I'm carrying can reflect light. This can help, I think. Instruct me where to reflect the light and use A to face the instrument in that direction. Use the Wind Waker to guide me, okay? All right, well. Obviously, I already kind of knew that, because we've been doing that all along. It's kind of interesting that they choose here to bring it up, when we literally had to do this to the chest that contains the dungeon map. I don't know why they chose to have it here that she gives the explanation, it just doesn't really make sense to me. But anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and open this chest, and we get ourselves a small key. And we have a new enemy, because I'm pretty sure we have never come across these guys before, and he's not going to want to come out, is he? Oh dear. Okay, yeah. So this is a floor master. And these guys will try to swipe you and take you back to a previous point in the dungeon. And they will do the same to Medley. Medley that gets it even worse. And you know what, just to show it off, because we've done all we can in this room since, uh, sadly, uh, we cannot t take, we have to have Mel Melody, uh, Medley, uh, sit down, he or sit down on the switch here so we can go through this door, however, there's something in there that we cannot do yet because we do not have an item that we can use. But, let's go ahead and have the wall, or the floor master, take Medley away. And as you can see, it kind of disappeared. So where is Medley? Well... Link, I'm over here! Yep, they threw her up in prison. Every time you you lose Medley to a wall ma or a floor master, she will end up in this cage. Which can be very bad as we get further down into the dungeon because then you basically have to trek all the way back up here to get her if you don't, if you haven't, you know, solved any or all the puzzles that you need her for. Alrighty, now we're in another room and we seem to have the same thing as the, that first, or I guess that second room where all those choo-choos came in. You just need to, you know, defeat them. Too bad that none of them are the blue chews like I need. And now... We need to go ahead and use our fire arrow to destroy that, um, destroy that curtain, which will give us some light on the subject, and then we can literally just watch these guys walk into the light and get turned to stone. However, we don't want to kill them because they are going to be our, our, uh, pressure points, our pressure plates, I guess, because they are going to allow us to climb up these stairs and move on. Now we're gonna want to just push this off because by doing so for some strange reason that activates you know unlocking the door. 
Not entirely sure why, but... You know. I guess that's the weird thing. Oh, there it goes again. I need to stop him. You also, I would highly recommend, unless you are getting off a combo attack, to not be directly above a floor, a floor master. Because they will pick you up by your legs and then drag you into the ground. And there's literally nothing you can do about it. Alrighty, there's another light down, which actually will help us, because these strange markings on the wall, we need to shine some light on them. Go ahead and activate that. Uh, I need to... I actually don't even think uh, it's really possible to reach that one with medley at the moment. can reach that one, strangely enough, but not the other one. Oh well, we don't even need the other one, but this one gets us another warp pot. And since we're already controlling Midley and we don't have anything else to do, I'm going to go ahead and just bring her right up here next to the door, so that way we can uh, just, you know, take her and move on. Go ahead and put push this block into place, and we will make a chest spawn. And then if we can come around here and have Link's face just completely cover our screen and then, you know, see inside of his head. But we can push this all the way over here. And by doing so, we'll unlock the door. Now if we can just, you know, climb up. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the chest. We get uh, the compass. This will now allow us to see... Oh. Link, do not worry about staying away from Medley in the depths of the temple. Just relax and open your dungeon map. It will show you Medley's location as well, so you can easily confirm her whereabouts. So, yeah. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and actually show this. I'm going to take a picture and show this as an example. But basically, if I were any point, any different point in the dungeon, so obviously I'm on the other side of this room. If we look at, at the dungeon map, you can see that it shows Medley's location. So if you are worried about leaving her in a previous room, and you don't know where she, like which room you left her in, as you made your way through the temple, you can actually, you know, check the dungeon map and actually see where she is in relation to you. In the game, in the original uh, GameCube version, she was marked by a purple dot, which I think is, uh, you know, I think that's a universal uh, thing for both uh, dungeons. Because as you can probably tell, the next dungeon that we're going to have to go through to return power to the Master Sword is going to be structured kind of the same way. And, uh, and so, you know, you just basically had a purple marker that told us, um, told us where they were. This time around, we just have, you know, a picture of their faces, very, which is very nice. You know, it actually makes it easier to see where exactly they are. Alright, so, we have some new enemies. These are Poe's. And we are going to want to shine some light on them, because they are currently invisible, which means we cannot, or I guess, not invisible, I, I guess, but transparent, which means they we cannot uh, attack them directly. So what we need to do is have Med uh, Medley, I'm actually going to have Medley destroy these, uh, some of these statues, because there is a chest behind there that we can pick up. But... We also can have Medley shine her light on them, and that will make them, you know, uh, transparent. Or not transparent, but visible. So we can defeat them. And it's, I can't... Oh, he's still... Uh, he is still... Uh, transparent. So I need to try again. So go ahead and shine light on him more. And now, we can defeat him. 
and by defeating all the enemies, we have now unlocked access to the next section. Now, I would like to show you a neat little trick. Because you can complete this next room by doing nothing. Well, somewhat nothing. Basically, you don't have to actually, you know, drop down here and defeat all the enemies. Because there are some enemies here. You take your Deku Leaf and you fly over here. And I failed. But basically, you would take your Deku Leaf, fly over here, and land on top of it to make the... Uh, to make the um, the front of the um, casket fall out. And then you would use your boomerang to come in here and grab the small key. I didn't do that. So, I'm just going to have to grab it the strange way. And we're going to have to fight all the new enemies here, which is okay, because we have some new enemies. We have Redeads. If you've played a Zelda game, you know what a Redead is. And they are annoying. Because they will stop you, in, because you will be terrified of them. And they have these weird shrieks that I do not care for. So basically what you need to do is stay as far away from them as possible. Especially for when they s decide to scream at you. And then you need to uh, slash at them as soon as possible. Because if you allow them to um, get too close to you, I'll actually go ahead and show off. We do have a... We do have one more um, re-dead in here, so I'll actually go ahead and show off what they do. So, if you get too close to a re-dead... They will literally come up and basically harm you in a stupid way, in a creepy way. And, yeah, you can lose hearts. And we don't want that, so... It's better to just keep your distance and then attack when it's open. But, now that we have the small key, let's go ahead and uh, make our way over this way. And let's head into this uh, locked door. Just go ahead and bring our skull hammer because... Welcome to the mini-boss. This is a Stalfos. What we're going to want to do is basically just destroy his body. He's got a giant spiked club. But what we want to do is smash the head in. If you leave it just to sit there, it will re... Uh, just like any other Stalfos, if you ever played as different any other Zelda game, it will recreate its body if you just leave it, so it's better, or you need to destroy the head. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the magic and stuff and the hearts from this, uh, this one, and then we're just gonna try to defeat this other one. They have a few different attacks, like he used it, they have a spin attack, like a, basically a spin attack of their own. Now go ahead and smash his head in. And I wonder if he'll be able to, because there is another thing about Stalfos that are kind of weird. And I think it might just be the amount of hits that you put on them. Basically, uh, they can separate into different body parts. So basically, they can have their legs moving around and then have their uh, torso and um, their torso and head kind of attached to each other moving around as well. We might run into that once we fight more Stalfos, but for the time being, we're just going to get past that. So, let's go ahead and head up and open this chest. And inside we get the mirror shield. Its shine its shiny surface reflects beams of light. Hold ZR to shield and use L to aim its reflection. So yeah, pretty cool. This is the item we've been waiting for. The mirror shield. So let's go ahead and just use it on that sun there to activate the door. And now we can head back out. And with our mirrored shield, we can do a few different things. One of which is one, I need to get uh, Medley if she can up there, which I might actually. 
climb up here myself and just play the just play um, the command med command melody. I don't know how that worked because I thought I did that wrong, but I guess I didn't. So what we need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just have her. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just have her get these guys transparent or visible, and then just. Uh, excuse me, I wanted to leave her in that position right there. And then we'll come down and defeat these guys as usual. And I think he just turned back in transparent, which, which is not good. And now we can see the ability of the Poe. So but the Poe can possess you and basically make you, uh, basically invert your controls. It's basically what a Poe does. It's really weird. But they basically invert your controls and you basically are very confused. Alright, gonna go ahead and steal your item and then finish you off. Okay, I could use some some more hearts. That is not that is just a singular heart. But anyway, before we uh, do what we need to do here, uh, we need to grab this chest. And inside is a useless joy pendant because we don't really need it anymore. All right, so now that we're here, go ahead and shine our light on this. And then we need to just, I guess we should probably just climb up here and bring Melody or Medley down with us instead of, you know, instead of, uh, instead of just, um, Uh, just using the command melody. What we need to do here to get the, some a neat little extra is go ahead and destroy this, and then just keep mel keep medley aimed there, and then we'll just aim our aim our shield there, and this way we can get some more rupees. All right. Now let's go ahead and open the door, and we are back in the main room. Now how do we proceed from here? Well, we do both have, uh, both have mirrors, and there are two suns within that statue. So let's go ahead and, uh, grab this, or I guess, go ahead and light it up there, look back. And there we go. We can now move towards the basement of the dungeon. All of this took place on the first floor. Very interesting. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this room. The reason being is that, oh dear, not because of you, I wish you would die is you remember that room that I said that we needed something else to be able to access? Well, this is it. We need Medley to go in here, or to hit that switch, and we need to come in here with the mirror shield. Because if we do, we can use the mirror shield to destroy this, and we can get, get access to another chest. And inside is another joy pendant. See, Randomizer makes this chest feel more worthwhile, because it could actually be something good. But now that we're here, Medley has joined, or has respawned at whatever door, basically something I didn't note is that Medley will respawn at any, or whichever door you previously came out of when you're in the room. But we have now made it to the, to the first, or the basement. And I think that's going to be a good stopping point right here. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we are going to continue in deeper and deeper into the Earth Temple, in hopes of finding, I guess, the boss. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a like, cheer ups out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to the -E -E if you have not already. And, I will see you guys all later.